This video will go through the process of uploading research to Figshare. For a breakdown of each field in the upload form and to jump ahead in the video, check out the timestamps in the description of this video. To log in, click on the red Login button on the top right side of the screen. Enter your username and password. These may be your institution's single sign-on credentials, or you may have been issued a username and password. Once you've logged in, select the Create a New Item button from the top left, or just drag and drop files into the browser. Dragging more than one file into the browser will prompt you to create one item with multiple files or create individual new items. Insert a title. Be as descriptive as possible in this field as it helps with discoverability of your data within Figshare and in search engines. Add authors. You can also search by entering the email address or ORCID ID of the author you want to add if the author has synced their ORCID to their Figshare account. To add an author who doesn't have a Figshare account, select Add Author Details and enter their name, an optional email address, and an optional ORCID ID. You can rearrange the order in which the authors appear and remove yourself as an author if you are uploading on behalf of someone else. Select a category. These are taken from the Australian Fields of Research classification system. You can choose more than one and either select from the drop down menu or search for your subject area. If you can't find exactly what you're looking for, we recommend finding the best option and getting more specific in the keyword section, which we'll get to in a moment. You may see a field called Group. This is an optional field set by your institution, which allows users to select the group in which the item should appear. If this field appears on your institution's instance of Figshare, please select a group from the drop-down menu. You can also search for the group in the search bar at the top of the menu. When this item is published, it will appear in the group you have selected from the menu. If the text in the field is gray, it means you only belong to one group and are unable to select any alternative groups. Select the item type from the drop-down menu. We accept any file type and preview over 1,200 file extensions in the browser. Add keywords. These should be more specific than the category and help others find your research. Add as many keywords as you want, just hit enter after each keyword. Figshare remembers ones you've entered previously and will suggest keywords based on keywords that have been added to the database previously by other authors. Write a description. This should include any relevant information that pertains to your research. This might include information about the methodology, approval for data collection, or legal or ethical requirements. Be as descriptive as you can. You can also paste HTML into this field. You can also add funding information related to your data and references to other materials related to your research outputs. When typing in your funder information, Figshare will search the Dimensions database, a sister company of digital science, for your funder and hyperlink to the Dimensions page, bridging the connection between your research outputs and the funder. To add funding information that doesn't appear in Dimensions, just type the funder information into the field and don't select anything from the drop-down menu. Select a license. This will determine how others can reuse your data. You can choose from a number of licenses based on your reuse requirements. For more information on which license to choose, click What's This above the field. Tick Publish. When doing so, you'll be prompted to check the license you've assigned and the terms of use. If your institution has review turned on, you may be notified that your item will be sent for review before it's made publicly available. Make sure everything you have submitted is accurate. Once it's published, it's permanently available. You can, however, make changes to a published item and generate a new version of the item.